Speaker Johari, first of all, welcome to China. Thank you very much. Let me start with your goals and expectations for this visit. First of all, uh, I was invited to witness the opening of the Asia Game. Thank you very much to the President and entire people of China who have given me opportunity. I've witnessed a spectacular and a beautiful opening. It is magnificent well coordinated and I guess a lot of hours were involved, a lot of people, especially young people involved. And you're using the uh, uh, green technology and, and that was a show of the year, I would say. Well, it's approaching 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between China and Malaysia. So how would you assess the current bilateral ties? And looking at a bigger picture, what about China's ties with ASEAN? We have been friends not for the last 50 years. We have been friends for the last three or four generations. You know, as, as I always quote this story about how the princess of China was brought to Malacca to marry a king. And uh, Admiral Chiang Ho accompanied her with a uh, few thousand soldiers. And finally, they permanently stayed there. And they acclimatized and uh, assimilated into the local community. Since then, the Chinese and Malaysia has been sending emissaries. Since then, we have been having friendship, uh, or relationship. Since then, business and trade happened. The progress is positive. And if you were to look at the trade, China has been our number one trading partner. We are growing stronger and stronger and, and within short period of time, Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim visited China twice and after he, la uh, he left, I came. Meaning to say that we put importance uh, to, to, to China mm -hmm. as far as relationship is concerned. Speaking of cooperation, the East Coast Rail Link connects Malaysia's less developed East Coast to the more industrialized West Coast is seen as a success story in bilateral cooperation under China's Belt and Road Initiative. And this year also marks the 10th anniversary. President Xi Jinping has described it as a way to build a community with a shared future. So what's your perspective on this concept and how has Malaysia benefited from it? You say rightly, uh, East Coast has been uh, quite uh, well, uh, inactive as far as business is concerned because of the communication problem. Now this with the existence of the ECRL, which is almost 50% completed, and I believe there will be more activity, a robust activity happen in the East Coast. I, I, I tell you, East Coast is a beautiful state. Uh, we have Kelantan, Terengganu, and Pahang. And this is where our natural beauty are there. But because of this uh, road system, mm -hmm. and uh, it was somehow rather uh, the, the development comparatively uh, say a bit inferior to the West. But with this road, and I guess more business will happen, more visitors will come in. Thank God uh, we, we have this initiative taken by, by the Chinese and it, it, it helps each other and both sides is a win-win situation. So uh, some people are talking about negative, but to me, no, it's a win-win situation. Since you mentioned, you know, some people are talking negative about the BRI, you know, there's a, you know, dead trap and things like that. Yeah. What, I just wonder, what's your comment on this? Well, when, when those negative comments come in, I think with a slice of political intention, you know, some people do not like the way do we do things. Some people do not like the way you comb your hair. But to me, uh, the most important thing is that how do we take care of the people's welfare and progress? We have, we have understood, we have done a study, we understand it very well. Without uh, accessibility, you know, it's, it's hard to push uh, progress in those areas. So uh, ignore them, just proceed. This President Xi Jinping has proposed three recent initiatives, that is the Global Security Initiative, the Global Development, as well as the Global Civilization Initiative. These represent China's contribution to the world and offer potential solutions to contemporary challenges. So what makes these initiatives unique and what ideas do they bring? As Wright has been saying that the 19th century was the British and European century, and 20th century was the American century, where you have Cold War, but 21st is going to be East century. This is Asia century. And I guess uh, we have to have our formula. Exactly, the three areas that the President was talking is our formula. 
where the world should live and the world should contribute. In fact, I have a lot of visitors from Africa almost every other week into my office. And they, 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 they really praise Chinese for what the Chinese are doing because they say, when the Chinese came to my country, there's no string attached. And they brought in not only with experience, and they brought in confidence that, that Chinese can do it in within 15 years. And I said, this is the kind of leadership president was saying. Uh, and I said, it's not impossible to do it. And it is, should be the way, you know. So I guess, uh, I guess you've got to support him. Uh, not only Chinese got to support your president, but the entire uh, Southeast Asian people and people of Asia.